Well, here we are in Guelph, Ontario, before we go to friggin' Mallorca today, but Jackson's having a bit of a kerfuffle. What's up? Trying to merge the call there? I'm trying. Let's get the frig out of here. I gotta figure this out. <laughs> I think they did it. I think it was their fault. So now... E Never book with E-Dreams. They're terrible. He does not like E-Dreams. Um, but what happened is uh, he tried five for five days to get this whole situation fixed and they can't do it. Can't ch take the R once you've put in the R. Jackson Rondry. Um, so now he's got to book... Bottom line, he's booking a last minute ticket for today <laughs> to go to Mallorca. How's that going? She's done. <laughs> How do you feel? This is great. I love spending all my time on the phone for no reason. It doesn't work. So now we're making coffee. I've got my grinder, AeroPress, beans from Stoked, but I'm using Jackson's sexy stainless steel French press. Quick update. We decided not to go swim because it was an hour there and an hour back, and it's a Canadian holiday, so there's nothing available to swim. We should go, I guess. So our flight's at six ish, and we're gonna do a strength session now since we can't swim. And uh, get on the flight, take a bunch of assistance to help get a lot of sleep, and maybe be in my arca tomorrow. All right, now we're in Jackson's garage where he does all of his murdering and murdering watts. Murdering watts. <laughs> we're gonna be. Probably doing some squats, some clean jerks on 145, 180 pounds. Uh, what's the what's the the snatch? We gotta do that. I can oh I can snatch, power snatch. And then uh, that's it. And then we're gonna frig off to the next country. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping out a while I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me scoop. Nobody here but me and you. When I do leg raises, I just ship a bit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wait, wait. I'll feel another one. <laughs> wait. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Get, get her going. <laughs> she did good. I can't stop. <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. Let's see what you actually do. Okay. Okay. No more. <laughs> okay. So I'm finally checked in here through security, everything at Toronto Airport, and let's just say it's fucking scary traveling international right now. Nobody's nice, first off. They demand to see tests, they challenge dates. I, everything was pulled out of my bags and luggage for security testing. Like, international travel, no fun right now. All right, it's been a long few days and we're finally at the rental car place where they, of course, tried to fuck us over and get us to spend a lot of money on extra insurance, but didn't do it. All right, there's nothing like getting your rental car and then trying to drive and navigate, eat a sandwich all at once, right when you're in foreign countries. Got standard. That's how you do it, and with a standard gearbox. But we're here. Freaking here! Oh man, we made it to our friggin' delicious hotel. So you can see all the nice wood furnishings behind us. Nice couples retreat here. We've got our separate twin beds. It's a closet space. There's about 30 pools on this beautiful palace. It's called the Zephyro Palace. I think that, you know, since I was nice enough to invite you to stay with me at my hotel, you can, I don't know, give me a good old hug sometime. We were gonna have an Airbnb and 
all of a sudden he thinks he's a high roller. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about bike building real fast. Usually it's the first thing you do when you get to your hotel room because you wanna make sure the airline didn't just ruin your whole trip by bursting your bubble. Jackson showed up with a hydraulic bike that he just never traveled with. He had to take the bars off. He had to take everything off. It's about mount, learning how to build your bike. And... Mount it to a non through axle regular skewer situation. And it worked out just fine. Worked great. Cut the seat saddle is giving me a little bit of trouble what's here. You, what's your advice for people who travel with their bike? Just just be careful when you put it in and just probably pad it a lot. Pad it a, what do you pad it with? Just random stuff, padding. Just loose padding. Except I tape it on. Tape it on. I do the same thing. I put freaking PVC padding all over this gun ho bastard. But I've got a different bike case, it's a little easier. Just doing some bike building here and you can see Jackson's position. His new Iron Man position is quite aggressive. You can tell the saddle height to the pedal is really interesting. I grew a few inches. Grew, the and then the, the stack here is also weeks. quite impressive. It's yeah. about 70, 700 mil. All right, so we're at an all inclusive. Just kind of grabbed everything. So did Jackson. So, time zones changed day one. We uh, went to bed around nine, both woke up about 2.50 or three o'clock wide awake. Kinda were up until like, I don't know, four. And then we just slept until 10. Uh, just barely gonna make the breakfast here. Yeah, barely gonna make breakfast. Pretty much stumbled around kind of drunk, like time, time zone drunk. All right, so we're about to go do this ride after we finally get everything set up. Um, been a bit of a day. Uh, let's just say the time zone switch has been not generous to us. What, do you, what time did you wake up after? We, okay, what time we go to bed? Uh, 8.45. We both woke up at 2.30, and then what happened to you? Two, two, uh, I fell back asleep at four. Yeah. Yep, and then I fell asleep about five, watched two shows, and then I woke up at 11 in a panic. That which, wasn't quite a No, long. yeah, 10, 15. Because breakfast ended at 10.30. And basically, uh, barely made it to breakfast, barely made it as an, an adult part of the world, because we probably could have slept until about four o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, I wish. Yeah, and then we had to go to the hardware store and get something quick to remedy some bike mechanical issues we've had. And then uh, that was actually MacGyver style. And now as you can see, the bikes are ready. We're getting geared up and we're gonna go for a quick ride. Two hour ride. No, yeah. Hour and a half. Maybe an hour and a half, maybe two hours. It's Wednesday before the race on Saturday. So still got some time. Well, here we are on the climb. Starts at about mile 70 something. There's Jack. Nice roads. It's gonna get greasy out here on race day. Boys are gonna give it on this climb. I'm doing about 300 watts. Probably try to ping it no higher than that on race day. Oh boy. What do you think about the, the course? Well, we got blasted by wind first. Yeah. And then just nothing for a bit, and now we got this beautiful climb. Pretty good. We're gonna have to drive the whole thing, so I don't think we should ride six hours today. <laughs> no. We're gonna definitely get a better grasp of this, but holy manoli. Nice. Decent. <laughs> Woo! 
beautiful. Everything's perfect. Nick's already cold. We haven't even gotten I'm in yet. I'm already cold and I'm not <laughs> looking forward to this. It's his old age. It's getting him. So private though. No one's going to be here. It's at the hotel. I mean, anyone can join us, but nobody is. So we got what? 40 minutes. How long I pick your meter? Yeah. It's like, it's really long. You can't even see the end on the GoPro. I bet it's big old pool. It's going to be fun. So today is uh, it's 446. We've been up since mid 10, 10, 15 and couple hiccups today well had some bike stuff to fix some brake rotors to fix and some photographers to hang out with and get us on our bike ride jackson's over there um and then got lost for about 25 minutes on our run so that went a little long <laughs> and uh now we're we missed all the food opportunities so we had to order a room service uh, we just got some chicken sandwich and some fries and then we're gonna still have to go check in at Iron Man registration then we're gonna go do a swim and have dinner and then call it a day and get some real sleep tonight and not be up at 2 30 in the morning wide and wake and bush tail probably still will it takes a couple days to get over that I think. yeah probably still gonna have a hard time getting through the jet lag but oh man it's gonna be nice to have the next two days of doing friggin' that much. Well, Nick's just trying to adjust here. It's about three hours later than he normally would wake up. Yeah, it kind of sucks. I'm pretty tired. So I could sleep for like another day all at once. <laughs> <laughs> I've been awake for about three hours. Oh. Just lying there trying to do something. Well, sleep worthy. Well, I'm up. Then hopefully, I can get up a little earlier tomorrow. And fuck, I think on Saturday, I don't even know what time the race starts. He woke up in such a daze he thought we were in Mexico for God's sake. Hey, Jack. What's up? What are we doing? We're just driving around. Where? Why? Bike course, so that I know what's coming and trying to kill me instead of just trying to figure it out on race day. <laughs> And we've got some passengers. Howdy. How's hey. it going, ladies? Welcome to the show. Excellent. Um, all I left here? I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean? You're the navigator. <laughs> all I can tell you. Yes. It's going to get ugly. We are going to go left. We're, we're going to get lost. Film at the same time. Oh, all right. Well, we're going maybe left. Not. Uh, maybe not. But just good birthday. Oh. <laughs> Say whatever you want. This is all going on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jack, just get everything so there's gonna shift everywhere. <laughs> uh, so Jax is driving, and well, Nick's doing more backseat driving than I am normal driving. So well, it's if kind I of don't, team effort. If I don't, we won't shift gears, and we will probably be lost. You're so <laughs> fucked. You don't. You think you know everything about driving? God, <laughs> well, if I was driving this and this and that would happen. Jesus Christ. Anything else? <laughs> this is on camera. Should this is great. Or should I just leave it? Nah, you. You're at 2,000 revs. You want to be below that for gas consumption, so shift. <laughs> faster on a bike <laughs> due to all the traffic <laughs> there we got some traffic but the road quality we're perfect curious. yeah we're all like super cyclists are like very well respected and protected here for sure no one even tried to door check anybody yet so we made it to the top of the climb Jocelyn didn't get the car sick we're all good a lot <laughs> no of bikes yet. and now we're gonna hit the descent and see if we can listen to Jackson complain about how scary he is and scared he is the whole time. But ultimately, the weather's chilly. It's about, I don't know, 15 degrees colder up here. Um, now, we just gotta drive the rest of the course, check out what's going on, 
back in the new loop. They just changed the bike course uh, a couple days ago for technical reasons, so we're gonna see how that looks, and then we'll be good to go. Cake with sugar on it. Cheesecake with strawberries. <laughs> that was delicious, that was delicious. <laughs> Jocelyn, keeping it real. All right, now we're hitting the descent where Jackson's gonna have his butthole clenched the whole time. Maybe burning out those new disc brakes. Fuck you off. You nervous? Of course. What do you think? I think it's gonna be a, just a nice little relaxing descent for me. Left yep. here? Yep. Sheep, local player. Acid oil, Sandy. There's an eagle on the back of this truck. We've been in the car it's, probably it's, a few it hours three now. Hours, actually. About three hours of driving for the course and Let's just say the map has not been very convenient or helpful, but we still managed to get probably 90% of the course correct. Um, a lot of switches and turns and cities and towns and chickens and sheep. It was fine. So we just drove the bike course for many hours, uh, three hours or something like that. Saw four. Four maybe. Saw all of the new course that they changed. Uh, what do you, I don't know, what do you think? It's pretty standard European climbs, descents, switchbacks, turns, just everything. And then the second half's pretty more wide open. Yep. So basically, that's it for now. Check back after the race. We'll do another episode and we'll talk about how that went with the race and the dynamics and all that stuff. It'll be shorter and hopefully a little bit more intense. Hopefully Jackson is uh, more rich because he was on that podium or something. But if not, uh, we'll still talk a lot of shit. Rich is the right word. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> triathlete rich. Until then, we're going to do nothing. This is Thursday. We're racing on Saturday. And uh, time to chill out and do nothing. <laughs>